Hi, hello everyone. Today I'm going to discuss a part of the selection tool which is the ellipse. Okay, in order to do that one, I'm going to click file, then click new, then I have here 500, then 500 high, then click OK. I have already a canvas here. The next thing that I'm going to do is to click the ellipse tool and we we're going to make a perfect circle. In order to be sure that it is perfect, you have to be sure that the fixed aspect ratio is chosen. Then after that one, we have to drag a circle now. Okay. Then I'm going to put it at the center. As you can see, it's a perfect circle. Now, we have our circle then change this one into color yellow. In order to do that one, we have to change our foreground color into yellow. Okay. This yellow color. Then I just have to choose here. Okay, I'll go with this yellow. Okay, then click OK. Then next will be the bucket tool in order to fill this one into yellow color. As you observe, it is already yellow. Now, the next thing that we need to work on is to enhance the edge. In order to enhance the edge, we have to make a shadow or we have to make another color for the edge. In order to do that one, we are going to make another layer. Right click, then click new layer. Okay, then click OK. After this one, we're going to change this layer into other color. I think orange will blend into our color yellow because orange is also a part of our smiley face. So I'll go with this one and click OK. Then again, for the bucket tool, we have to fill this up with orange. And there you go. Now. We have to divide this one into two color. The edge will be orange, then the rest will be yellow. In order to do that one, we have to select the shrink. Okay, this shrink will gonna make our circle smaller into ten. Click OK as you observe it shrink. Now click again select, then click feather. The feather, the feather will be 20, then click OK. Then after that one, we have to click delete in our keyboard. Try to observe. As you can see, we have already our edge, which is color orange. Now, we have to select none. OK. This one is the first circle. Now, we have to work on with the eye. Okay. In order to work on with the eye, I just have to right click here. I'm going to make another layer. Then click new layer. Then click OK. Okay. Then I will click the ellipse for the eye. I will uncheck the fix aspect ratio because I will make an oblong. It's not a perfect circle. Therefore, I'm going to make here there you go, an eye. It should be wider because this one is happy, right? When you are happy, your eyes will go wide. Then next will be we have to fill this color into white. Okay. I just have to switch this one, then I just have to get the bucket tool, then click here, our eye, it's white. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is to emphasize the edge by putting a border here, a border line. Okay, I just have to click, we have to click select. Then click the path. We're going to make a path in order to make a border. Then click select. Then click none. Okay. Then after that one, click again. Uh, click edit rather. Then we have to click stroke path.
Okay, before clicking the stroke, we have to change the color here. In order to emphasize the edge, we just have to go with the blending of our yellow and orange. Okay, I think the harder yellow will do in order to see the difference. Okay, I think this one is okay. 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 Then it's time to click the button stroke. Okay, we have already our border line here for our ellipse. Okay, now in order to work onto another eye, all you have to do is to duplicate this one. Okay, just click right click then we just have to click duplicate layer okay so we have here two eye name layer two then try to drag this one in order to move the eye okay it has the same size the same color the same edge there you go okay now we have already our eye the next thing that we're going to work on will be our mouth okay the smiley mouth okay now right click then you layer again for our mouth click ok okay you can do any other tool you can use any other tool with the mouth but I prefer an ellipse tool for our mouth still not fixed ratio I just have to drag this one with this one it should have a smile but it doesn't look like it is smiling but rather the smiley face it is as if surprise okay in order to reshape this one I'll try to reshape this one with try changing the mode I just have to click subtract from the current selection okay I'm going to reshape this one whoop which should smile okay I think it is smiled already or I just need to still drag this one okay and also this one to make it even Okay, and this one should be there you go there it is already smiling okay now the next thing that I'm going to do is to color this one okay obviously I'm gonna make this one um, white the color of the teeth Okay, I'm going to change this one into white color. I'll go with this one. I just have to switch this one. Okay, then switch this one. This one is white, then click the bucket fill, then click this one. Okay. Bucket fill, then click this one. Okay, there you go. We have already a smiling smiley face the next procedure will be I'm going to work on the edge again I have to make a border line here so in order to do that one I just have to click select then click to path then click select again then click none okay then click edit then choose stroke path okay I'm gonna choose color again for the border line of this one I think it is somewhat reddish yellowish reddish yellow then red the blending of red and yellow okay because we're working on the mouth I think this one is fine there you go oops lower it's 
read. Okay, then click stroke. Okay, we have the mouth here. Now, we have to work on the pupil of the eyes. Okay, click, right click again for a new layer. Then click OK. Okay, ellipse tool. I'm going to work on the pupil here. Um, it should be a perfect circle, I think. Ah, uh, no, it's not a perfect circle. It is somewhat small oblong here. Okay. On this position. There you go. Then we have to color this one. Somewhat gray. Okay. I'm gonna fill this pupil into black color clicking into black color there you go okay the pupil has two color it is somewhat light blue and black so again I'm gonna work on the two colors of the pupil so I'm gonna add again another layer here new layer then click OK then I'll change the layer 5 into light blue. Okay, I'll go with the light blue here. I think this one is okay. Okay, then the bucket fill. Okay, now the next thing that you're going to do is to shrink the ellipse click select then shrink okay since this one is smaller ellipse I just have to go with 5 then click OK the next thing that we're going to do is click again select then click feather from the feather I'm gonna make this one smaller too I'm gonna make it 10 then click OK and after that one I just have we just have to click delete in our keyboard okay as you can see we have the blue eye with a black pupil and after that one we have to select then click none okay all we have to do is to merge the three layers here in order to merge the three layer which consists of four five and six we have to click the eye here for layer three layer two which is on the left the right eye layer one then we have this layer and the background layer okay so the objective here is in order to make the the three layer into one so in order to identify is we have to disable the other layer then right click this one then click click merge visible layer okay merge there you go it was already merged then try to enable okay we have there now right click then duplicate this layer for the for the other eye duplicate layer then click move tool then we just have to move this one okay it's even same pupil the same eye there you go okay that we can maximize the use of ellipse though it's not a perfect smiley but we could be able to understand how the ellipse works and the other tool.